bronze is an alloy consisting primarily of copper. The addition of other metals, produces an alloy much harder than plain copper. The historical period where the archaeological record contains many bronze artifacts is known as the Bronze Age. Because historical pieces were often made of brasses and bronzes with different compositions, modern museum and scholarly descriptions of older objects increasingly use the more inclusive term copper alloy instead. The word bronze is borrowed from French bronze, itself borrowed from Italian bronzo bel metal, brass, from either, Ravenna bra cubed ntion, back formation from Byzantine Greek brontazaon, perhaps from Brenta, Sina Euro Brindisia Euro unregistered trademark, reputed for its bronze. Or, early Persian Birinj, Birinj brass, pyrin copper, from which also came Serbo Croatian Parina brass, Georgian Brink de Grio bronze, Armenian Painj copper. History The discovery of bronze enabled people to create metal objects which were harder and more durable than previously possible. Bronze tools, weapons, armor, and building materials such as decorative tiles were harder and more durable than their stone and copper predecessors. Initially, bronze was made out of copper and arsenic, forming arsenic bronze, or from naturally or artificially mixed ores of copper and arsenic. It was only later that tin was used, becoming the major non-copper ingredient of bronze in the late 3rd millennium BC. Tin bronze was superior to arsenic bronze in that the alloying process could be more easily controlled, and the resulting alloy was stronger and easier to cast. Also, unlike arsenic, tin is not toxic. The earliest tin alloy bronze dates to 4500 BCE in a Vino culture site in Plonik. Other early examples date to the late 4th millennium BC in Susa and some ancient sites in China, Luristan and Mesopotamia. Ores of copper and the far rarer tin are not often found together, so serious bronze work has always involved trade. Tin sources and trade in ancient times had a major influence on the development of cultures. In Europe, a major source of tin was England's deposits of ore in Cornwall, which were traded as far as Phoenicia and the eastern Mediterranean. Though bronze is generally harder than wrought iron, with Vickers hardness of 60 a Euro 258 versus 30 a Euro 80, the Bronze Age gave way to the Iron Age because iron was easier to find and easier to process into a usable grade of metal. Pure iron is soft and the process of beating and folding sponge iron to make wrought iron removes carbon and other impurities from the metal which need to be reintroduced to improve hardness. Careful control of the alloying and tempering eventually allowed for wrought iron with properties comparable to modern steel. Bronze was still used during the Iron Age. For many purposes, the weaker wrought iron was found to be sufficiently strong. Archaeologists suspect that a serious disruption of the tin trade precipitated the transition. The population migrations around 1200 to Euro 1100 BC reduced the shipping of tin around the Mediterranean, limiting supplies and raising prices. As the art of working in iron improved, iron became cheaper, and as cultures advanced from wrought iron to machine forged iron, the blacksmiths learned how to make steel, which is stronger than bronze and holds a sharper edge longer. Composition. There are many different bronze alloys, but typically modern bronze is 88% copper and 12% tin. Alpha bronze consists of the alpha solid solution of tin and copper. Alpha bronze alloys of 4 euro 5% tin are used to make coins, springs, turbines and blades. Historical bronzes are highly variable in composition, as most metal workers probably used whatever scrap was on hand. The metal of the 12th century English Gloucester candlestick is bronze containing a mixture of copper, zinc, tin, lead, nickel, iron, antimony, arsenic with an unusually large amount of silver euro between 22.5% in the base and 5.76% in the pan below the candle. The proportions of this mixture may suggest that the candlestick was made from a hoard of old coins. The Benin bronzes are really brass, and the Romanesque baptismal font at St. Bartholomew's Church, Leo GE is described as both bronze and brass. In the Bronze Age, two forms of bronze were commonly used, classic bronze, about 10% tin, was used in casting. A mild bronze, about 6% tin, was hammered from ingots to make sheets. 
Bladed weapons were mostly cast from classic bronze, while helmets and armor were hammered from mild bronze. Commercial bronze and architectural bronze are more properly regarded as brass alloys because they contain zinc as the main alloying ingredient. They are commonly used in architectural applications. Bismuth bronze is a bronze alloy with a composition of 52% copper, 30% nickel, 12% zinc, 5% lead, and 1% bismuth. It is able to hold a good polish and so is sometimes used in light reflectors and mirrors. Plastic bronze is bronze containing a significant quantity of lead which makes for improved plasticity possibly used by the ancient Greeks in their ship construction. Other bronze alloys include aluminium bronze, phosphor bronze, manganese bronze, bell metal, arsenical bronze, specular metal and cymbal alloys. Properties Typically bronze only oxidizes superficially. Once a copper oxide layer is formed, the underlying metal is protected from further corrosion. However, if copper chlorides are formed, a corrosion mode called bronze disease will eventually completely destroy it. Copper-based alloys have lower melting points than steel or iron, and are more readily produced from their constituent metals. They are generally about 10% heavier than steel, although alloys using aluminium or silicon may be slightly less dense. Bronzes are softer and weaker than steel and euro bronze springs, for example, are less stiff for the same bulk. Bronze resists corrosion and metal fatigue more than steel and is a better conductor of heat and electricity than most steels. The cost of copper base alloys is generally higher than that of steels but lower than that of nickel base alloys. Copper and its alloys have a huge variety of uses that reflect their versatile physical, mechanical, and chemical properties. Some common examples are the high electrical conductivity of pure copper, the low friction properties of bearing bronze, the resonant qualities of bell bronze, and the resistance to corrosion by seawater of several bronze alloys. The melting point of bronze varies depending on the ratio of the alloy components and is about 950 AA degrees Celsius. Bronze may be non-magnetic, but certain alloys containing iron or nickel may have magnetic properties. Uses Bronze was especially suitable for use in boat and ship fittings prior to the wide employment of stainless steel owing to its combination of toughness and resistance to salt water corrosion. Bronze is still commonly used in ship propellers and submerged bearings. In the 20th century, silicon was introduced as the primary alloying element creating an alloy with wide application in industry and the major form used in contemporary statuary. Sculptors may prefer silicon bronze because of the ready availability of silicon bronze brazing rod, which allows color-matched repair of defects in castings. Aluminium is also used for the structural metal aluminium bronze. It is also widely used for cast bronze sculpture. Many common bronze alloys have the unusual and very desirable property of expanding slightly just before they set, thus filling in the finest details of a mold. Bronze parts are tough and typically used for bearings, clips, electrical connectors and springs. Bronze also has very low metal-on-metal -metal friction, which made it invaluable for the building of cannon where iron cannonballs would otherwise stick in the barrel. It is still widely used today for springs, bearings, bushings, automobile transmission pilot bearings, and similar fittings, and is particularly common in the bearings of small electric motors. Phosphor bronze is particularly suited to precision grade bearings and springs. It is also used in guitar and piano strings. Unlike steel, bronze struck against a hard surface will not generate sparks, so it is used to make hammers, mallets, wrenches and other durable tools to be used in explosive atmospheres or in the presence of flammable vapors. Bronze is used to make bronze wool for woodworking applications where steel wool would discolor oak. Bronze Statues In India, bronze sculptures from the Kushana and Gupta periods and later periods have been found. Indian Hindu artisans from the period of the Kola Empire in Tamil Nadu used bronze to create intricate statues via the lost wax casting method with ornate detailing depicting the deities of Hinduism mostly, but also the lifestyle of the period. The art form survives to this day, with many silps, craftsmen, working in the areas of Swamimala and Shinai. 
the Assyrian king Sennacherib claims to have been the first to cast monumental bronze statues using dupart molds instead of the lost wax method. In antiquity other cultures also produced works of high art using bronze. For example, in Africa, the bronze heads of the Kingdom of Benin. In Europe, Grecian bronze is typically of figures from Greek mythology. In East Asia, Chinese bronzes of the Shang and Zhou dynasty are Euro more often ceremonial vessels but including some figurine examples. Bronze sculptures, although known for their longevity, still undergo microbial degradation, such as from certain species of yeasts. Bronze continues into modern times as one of the materials of choice for monumental statuary. Musical instruments Bronze is the preferred metal for top quality bells, particularly bell metal, which is about 23% tin. Nearly all professional symbols are made from bronze, which gives a desirable balance of durability and timbre. Several types of bronze are used, commonly B20 bronze, which is roughly 20% tin, 80% copper, with traces of silver, or the tougher B8 bronze which is made from 8% tin and 92% copper. As the tin content in a bell or symbol rises, the timbre drops. Bronze is also used for the windings of steel and nylon strings of various stringed instruments such as the double bass, piano, harpsichord, and the guitar. Bronze strings are commonly reserved on piano 40 for the lower pitch tones, as they possess a superior sustain quality to that of high tensile steel. Bronzes of various metallurgical properties are widely used in struck earphones around the world, notably bells, singing bowls, gongs, cymbals and other idiophones from Asia. Examples include Tibetan singing bowls, temple bells of many sizes and shapes, gongs, Javanese gamelan and other bronze musical instruments. The earliest bronze archaeological finds in Indonesia date from 1 Euro 2 BCE, including flat plates probably suspended and struck by a wooden or bone mallet. Ancient bronze drums from Thailand and Vietnam date back 2,000 years. Bronze bells from Thailand and Cambodia date back to 3,600 BCE. Some companies are now making saxophones from phosphor bronze. Bell bronze is used to make the tone rings of many professional model banjos. The tone ring is a heavy folded or arched metal ring attached to a thick wood rim, over which a skin, or most often, a plastic membrane is stretched. It is the bell bronze that gives the banjo a crisp, powerful lower register and clear, bell like treble register, especially in bluegrass music. Medals Bronze has been used in the manufacture of various types of medals for centuries, and are known in contemporary times for being awarded for third place in sporting competitions and other events. The later usage was in part attributed to the choices of gold, silver, and bronze to represent the first three ages of man in Greek mythology the Golden Age, when men lived among the gods, the Silver Age, where youth lasted a hundred years, and the Bronze Age, the era of heroes, and was first adopted at the 1904 Summer Olympics. At the 1896 event, silver was awarded to winners and bronze to runners-up, while at 1900 other prizes were given, not medals. Industrial, various kinds of bronze are used in many different industrial applications. Phosphor bronze is used for ships' propellers, musical instruments, and electrical contacts. Bearings are often made of bronze for its friction properties. It can be filled with oil to make the proprietary oilite and similar material for bearings. Aluminium bronze is very hard and is used for bearings and machine tool ways. See also Bronze Age, List of Copper Alloys, Art Object, Bronze and Brass Ornamental Work, Bronze Medal Bronze sculpture, bronzing, Chinese bronze inscriptions, French Empire mantle clock, Seagram building, desensification resistant brass union C69100, Yoruba traditional art, references. External links, bronze bells, lost wax, found bronze lost wax casting explained, flash animation of the lost wax casting process. James Peniston sculpture. Retrieved November 3, 2008. A Viking Bronze Euro Ancient and Early Medieval Bronze Casting.